Hello, hello, hello. Okay, let's organize a community for Japanese learners. Nihongo, kyo mo JC さんと一緒にやりたいと思います。JC さん、よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。<laughs> so, today we're going to talk about language proficiency examination. So, you are working on something, right?、Mm. Uh-huh. What's the examination so, name?、Um, I am working on two. Right now, I'm going to take the TOEFL、um, English exam today. And in November, I'll be taking the JLPT N4. Wait, TOEFL, you are going to take today?、Mm-hmm. The, have you ever?、Yes. Is it first time? It's my first time taking the TOEFL. I took the Cambridge,、uh, Cambridge B1 English exam when I was in middle school. Cambridge.、Um, so there are a couple of types of English exams there's IELTS, TOEFL, Cambridge, and、yeah. there are a couple other, but those. Be the most popular. I h e l d yes. So, what, what, what was your like、uh, a reason you're gonna take TOEFL this time? Or、uh, is it? But、you、usually, they take for universities, right?、Mm. It, it can be for universities.、Um, some people take it、um, just to show proficiency in、ah, English.、Right. Mm. For work and other reasons, but it is mostly for university.、Mm-hmm. And since I am applying for the MEX scholarship and、um, they want an English proficiency certificate,、um, I need to take the, I can take either one. IELTS, Cambridge, or TOEFL、uh, are accepted by,、um, for, for the MEX scholarship application. Um, but I decided to take the TOEFL because there is something that、um, TOEFL. TOEFL, I, L, and Cambridge.、Mm. Uh, okay, okay, so you can choose. And、yes. you picked TOEFL with, because. Mm-hmm. I chose TOEFL IBT Home because I can take it online.、Oh. Um, so I can take it from my home, and the results do not take too long to come in. I think less than a week, and you get your results. So that way I can quickly certify my English and submit my application because I only have until the beginning of next month、oh. to turn in my application. So I need a certification quickly. Um, Cambridge and IELTS, and some of the TOEFL you have to take in an assessment center or take it through a school. And since I'm not currently in a school and I don't have time to wait for an assessment center to have an exam and turn the results in,、um, that's why I went for TOEFL.、Mm. But I remember, I, I've, never t- I've never taken it,、mm. but I remember it costs a lot of money. I was so very surprised.、Mm. It was like back was, then, like two hundred forty or something. Eighty. It cost two hundred fifty dollars for the TOEFL IBT.、Huh. Yeah. Uh, okay,、mm-hmm. I see. Since you are submitting your application to the Mexico embassy,、uh, they required you to submit that. I thought that if you were an English native speaker,、yeah. you did you not did have not. to turn in. A certification.、Yeah. Um, and I think in some countries it might be like that, maybe the United States.、Um, and I think it's because in English speaking countries, usually they kind of assume that you speak the language from the country, maybe, and that's why they don't need it in the application. Not sure if it has to do with the specific embassy you're applying through or if it has to do with the actual m e x t application. But for my country,、um, they, if you don't have a, an English certification with your documents, they will not look at your application.、Um, mm-hmm. And I heard that in Australia, it's the same that even if everyone speaks English there, they have to submit an English certification. What? <laughs>、mm. Wow, that's, you know, like that, that's 
ensure that these kinds of language like proficiency examination companies profits <laughs> like, oh my god <laughs> でも、it's going to benefit me, I think, because in the future I want to work in Japan as well as an English teacher or maybe a Spanish teacher or something like that. And having this certification will prove that I actually know English and I guess will help in the future for a, right. plan, for a job. You don't have to argue. <laughs> <laughs> so,、um, quick question. Did you. Prepare anything about this, or are you are really relaxed about this? <sighs>、um, I recently, by recently, I mean last week, got certified、um, to teach TOEFL、um, exams. Wow! Last month, I got certified to teach IELTS and Cambridge exams too. I have tutored students for IELTS and Cambridge before I got my certification. Um, so, I know the exam structure, I know its contents and things like that. However, I never found the need to personally study for it. And the problem is, I'm sure you'll see with JLPT, is if an English person takes an English exam, they might not do too well on it. If a Japanese person takes the JLPT, they might also not do too well on it because some of the grammar, some of the vocabulary they want <laughs> you to use is not very natural. So, Right now,、um, I'm sure I'll do well on the TOEFL exam because、uh, I know it pretty well. But、mm-hmm. I, I am sure as well that I'm not going to probably get full points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Every full score. Because,、mm. uh-huh, because I'm not,、um, I don't really use idioms that much. Right. I don't use the high vocabulary that they want you to use on TOEFL, for example. Let's see, I wrote a few words down、uh, that yeah, yeah, they yeah. put on TOEFL.、Uh, let me see if、yeah. I can find it.、Yeah. For example, words like accolade, circumvent,、um, dark,、um, malice,、um, malice, macrocosm. So these are <laughs> words that we never use. Native speakers <laughs> never use them, and they want you to use them in TOEFL. So、um, <laughs> if I see those words, I'm not going to know what they mean because we don't use them. Um, so that is worrying me a little bit because、mm. I, I just signed up to the TOEFL like this past Monday、um, <laughs> and I haven't had time to、yeah. um, learn、cool. new idioms or、uh, those vocabulary. Okay, I have a question. So you,、mm. um, take, well, you, you took some you know, teaching program for IELTS、mm. and Cambridge recently? Yes. Wow. Is it like an online program? Like issued yes, by. Yes, they're online programs, online teaching programs. I did, let's see,、um, I did another one as well for Spanish、oh. called Dele and Ciele.、Um, that one was um, from, um, I think, a program with Universidad de Cervantes, so like a、uh-huh. Spanish university. Oh, okay.、Um, but these. Since these exams are very common, these English ones, there are a lot more online teaching programs for can,、um, teachers. Can I、mm-hmm. ask? So, that、mm-hmm. you just said the Spanish one was organized by the university, right? So, university provides that like, teaching scheme and yeah, growing the teaching professionals. But, Like TOEFL TOEFL or IELTS, they, they themselves like, like making the, that kind of educational、um, program? I'm not、owner. sure.、Um, I think they probably do.、Oh, I think、yeah. they have、um, programs to prepare people to be examiners. Uh, uh,、yeah. I'm not exactly prepared for these exams.、Um, but、um, there are also so many different priced programs for teachers. So,、oh. um, I got some of my teaching certifications from、um, Bridge.、Um, that's a website with a lot of different courses for teachers.、Um, so that's where I got my IELTS and TOEFL one. The Cambridge, I got it on a different teaching website.、Um, and then the, the Spanish one, now it's called ELE International. It used to be like in collaboration directly with、um, Universidad de Cervantes, but in last year, I think they separated.、Uh-huh. But it's still the same thing that they use from. Okay, content itself, same.、Mm-hmm. Um, that university. And the university、mm-hmm. is the one that. 
Okay, I see, I see. Mm. So, but you know, co considering the JLPD or EJT, the, which is the uh, language proficiency examination in Japan, do, do you know how much cost? The, the, I don't know. I, I know the Japanese yen, like Hasen yen or something. Mm. Mm. You don't know, right? I don't know yeah, yeah. because I, I went. Um, since I went through um, studytrip.com, yeah. they organized the whole for me. I just paid them a full amount right, and right. they paid for my tuition, right. everything and the exam. Mm -hmm. So I don't know exactly how much it was. All right. Yeah. So it's pretty like a considerable cheap because because of the like, what they test, it's definitely different. Yeah, absolutely different. That's affect that, that this price difference. And BJT is also not that expensive as the English one. By the way, like I also consider in like a German examination and German mm -hmm. examination is very similar price as TOEFL. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, that, so yeah, I wanted to uh, talk about it is I've never heard that the institution program for teaching or guiding JLPD or EJT, that kind of program or for Japanese teacher. Com compared to that, like a lot of programs like provided for English teachers, like the Japanese languages field is really not much cultivated, <laughs> not much developed enough. You know, you, you cannot find like the certified teacher specialized for JLPD or something because of, of, it's not common, not, not so, even if it exists, it's not so like a strong influence has in this industry yet. It's um, true. Um, in the future, right now I only teach English and Spanish, but Maybe a couple years later, I want to teach Japanese mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. I still have to study for like 10 years <laughs> for my Japanese to be okay. But um, I was looking for uh, schools that had Japanese um, teaching certification programs. Mm -hmm. And it's so difficult to find. I only found two schools in Tokyo that offered Japanese teaching certification courses. Mm -hmm. um, the only requirement is that you have N1, JLPT certification or level. Um, and then you can take that course and it's usually three months and it's a winter course. I think either starts in December or January. I think it's from January to March. Um, but it's so hard to find a course like that. And then trying to find one online is even harder. Oh yeah. Um, Mm, wow, I'm really surprised you already researched that much. <laughs> 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 but you, so, um, but you know, like at one point you were struggled to find that kind of like program for like mm. teaching Japanese certificate kinds. Uh, it's because you probably looked for the program for foreigners, right? Not the natives. Yes, because yeah. for native, um, some of them are like through university yeah. and some of them are like um, vocational school or graduate program, sometimes mm -hmm. vocational school. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's that takes a little too long. Um, so I want to find um, some sort of certification that's more similar to the English and Spanish ones that I got that mm -hmm. they care more about um, just general content since I already have teaching education. Mm -hmm. I already have a teaching degree. All I need is a certification for that specific language. So I want something a bit shorter. Oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. Mm. But it, it, it's better to have a guidance, like a actual teacher's mm -hmm. guidance, right? Mm, I, see, I finally find it that price is 700. Yeah. 